Good morning. For those of you who don't know me, I am Sue Claire. I usually go to the 745 service. I'm not sure they don't show up at the 9 o'clock, but anyway, I'm here. I am not very good at these numbers. I think I'm backward every single time I've done it, so I can do it. But it's all about the numbers this month, so let me share you some of my personal numbers. 32 years I'm married. I have two children, two boys, 25 and 28. I am one of three sisters, I have three sisters, so one of four girls, and then my mom gathers us all together in Illinois. We count, we number 20, with husbands, grandchildren, the whole bit. My church-related numbers, um, I've been 15 years a member. I support four individual ministries, the Tanzanian Scholarship Fund, Chosen 300, the food coverage at St. John's Mayfair and Maggie Dixon, and ASP. I have attended 10 women's retreats, and I am not disclosing the number of bottles of wine that I have drunk at those 10 retreats. Suffice <laughs> to say, it's a big number. Um, I have taught Sunday school for six years. Um, I have been on two mission trips, one to ASP, and then most recently I came to the state for Habitat for Humanity. I'm in my fifth year on church council, my fourth year on the stewardship committee, and this is my third temple talk. One was good, one was horrible, and we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> um, and I have pledged for five years. So now that I've told you about me and my numbers, let me share with you some information about EPLC's numbers, the financial numbers. First, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you, because as of September, uh, our giving, which is all of you, is slightly ahead of budget, and our expenses are slightly less than budgeted. So that is awesome. So thank you. But, and you know there's always going to be a but, um, we have some major challenges facing us in the years ahead. We have members on whom we have relied for many years for financial support. However, now for various reasons, such as health or age, they are no longer able to support UDLC at the same level as in the years past. Like many congregations, our giving is top heavy. We, we rely on a small number of larger givers to meet our budget every year. And, as we all know, our building has needs, the most immediate of which is the boilers. Our property committee guys are amazing with their ingenuity and know-how, but those boilers are running on our own time. Sunday school enrollment numbers have increased, which is awesome, but we're at the point where we now need to reconsider, need to consider reconfiguring Sunday school rooms, uh, knocking down walls, that kind of thing. We are blessed as a church with our membership and the ministries that we offer. They're growing. Our music ministry is growing by leaps and bounds. We have launched a youth group for middle-aged school children. Our faith at home ministry for young families is very well received. The men's and women's retreats are extremely popular. The list goes on. But all of these programs require financial support, need for supplies, staffing, the whole bit. But the only thing that we really need to think about is we need to build our reserves fund. UBLC someday may encounter a rainy day, and we need the financial strength to weather that storm. So it's going to take all of us to meet these challenges, and our strength is in our numbers and in our dedication to this church and its ministries. So the stewardship team has set goals for us, goals which will move us for greater overall participation in supporting this church and its ministries. The first goal is eight new pledges. Maybe you're, you are a new member and haven't yet pledged. Maybe you give but have never pledged. You can help us meet this goal. Pledging helps us to develop a budget for the coming years, so that one that we will have greater confidence in. We're looking for six new participants in Simply Giving, which is our online giving portal. We would like to see 50 increases of gi in giving of any amount. Doesn't matter if it's a dollar or a thousand dollars. We all may wonder what a small increase can accomplish. But when we all step up, as we are able, many small increases can make a big difference in our budget. And of course, it goes without saying, if anybody's won the lottery and wants to make a moderate, <laughs> moderate to large increase, please go ahead. Those are very welcome. The final goal, and it may be a stretch for us, but I think it's one worth trying to pursue, is the stewardship team would like to see our giving increase by 5% of 2018's budget. So, we're looking at a number of approximately $41,000 more than what we gave last year. And what we need, it's a big, it's a stretch, the number's a little bit scary, 
But we need to grow our budget to sustain our ministries, to sustain our building and our grounds, to compensate our wonderful staff, and to, extend, to support and extend our missions beyond this church. So, as we approach Commitment Sunday on November 18th, I am asking you to prayerfully consider how you can help UPLC meet its challenges in 2019. Thank you so much for your support now and in the year ahead. I'm going to leave you with one last number. The number is 265. And that number, 265, is the number of years that UPLC has existed. We have been on this corner for 265 years. That's pretty amazing. Let's keep it going. So thank you.